Welcome back to another episode of Casey Campbell's Videocast. Casey Campbell here with Great Lakes Post. We are now joined by Brett Stanley of Warren DOSL Football after coming off a big win against Harper Woods. How's it going, man? It's going good. Thank you. How are you? Doing well. Of course, uh, you know, a lot of excitement surrounding the pilots this year. New head coach, uh, lots of new things. Uh, how has the season been going with Coach Roan at the helm? That's good. We really, I mean, he's doing a great job. The, our our schedule is so tough, you know, but it's just been a good it's, – it's been good adapting to his philosophies and his tendencies. Um, a new offense, everything's new, so everything's different from what Coach D did, so, but we really like it here. Yeah, of course, uh, and the tough schedules, that's what the Catholic League is. And I it, know. And it gets even tougher this week. Of course, you guys are going up against one of the best teams in all of the state of Michigan in Cass Tech. Yeah. Um, yeah. You guys are ready for that, aren't you? Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, we're just preparing for this week. But, uh, you know, we'll be ready. Well, you know, as uh, you know, you didn't even know this season was going to happen. But uh, so far, so good. You know, Warren DeLaSalle hasn't had really many issues, knock on wood. I just did. <laughs> um, so what has it been like to, you know, get through all the all this, you know, stuff that, you know, uh, we're honestly we're just you know following the rules, wearing the mask, um, social distancing. We're trying our best. Uh, I mean, we're just you know we're just following the rules. That's why we have nothing. We have no cases or anything. So we'll just keep doing that. Yeah. Um, you know, you know, this season is uh, it's been an interesting one. Of course, um, everybody knows what happened with Warren DeLoSel in the last few years, but. Yeah. Um, you know, the past is the past. We don't need to worry about that. It's the, the, it's the present that is it, what is right now. And it looks like you guys are looking like uh, you possibly could make another run again. Um, yeah. Would that be possible? Oh, for sure. I feel like we, we're always in the running. Like, deal us how we won it the past three, three out of six years, I think it was, right? And then last year, I think we would have went to the finals. And I think we would have won it last year, too. But we didn't. Obviously, an un unfortunate event happened. So, you know, this year we'll try to get back there and, you know, see what we can do. Um, you know, so obviously you do get a season. So you get to get – so you get it's another chance for you to get um, – because I know you do want to play at the next level. So how is that going with recruiting and what's it been like uh, from that standpoint? I'm sorry. Can you repeat it? I'm sorry. What's it been like, uh, you know, with uh, with recruiting and all that? Um, it's been good. Um, this year is really the the year that I've got looked at by the higher levels, like D1. I just got offered by Dayton. I'm getting looked at by Butler, um, Grand Valley, Fordham, and Lehigh are the top schools that are looking at me. So it's going good right now. Hopefully I can get more. Yeah. Um, and of course, getting into this big matchup, heading into the big play, heading into the playoffs. What do you guys need to do from a, a standpoint to just make sure that uh, that nobody does, you know, um, something that could possibly end the season, like test positive? Uh, well, honestly, we don't even like to think about that. You know, we're just going to keep following the guidelines that everyone's doing, and uh, you know, just. Every, everyone's got to do it in order to play in the playoffs, you know, so every team has to do it. So, Yeah. All right, Brett. Thank you so much, buddy. Congratulations on the big win last week. Good luck this weekend against uh, Castec. Thank you. Appreciate it.